intelligence guided by experience. The outcome here was kind of foretold with the first Supreme Court decision on this, saved and rescued from obscurity and oblivion by the Chief Justice. And it was only stood to reason it was going to happen again. As I say, it's, it's far easier to believe that something that has happened is going to happen again than to believe that something that hasn't happened is going to happen. I'm still, everybody is, is the air out of their sails over this today, but uh, it was kind of foretold. And, you know, a lot of people running around saying, well, hey, Rush, you know, it really isn't that big a deal because the Republicans didn't have a plan. I mean, the, the, the extent the Republicans had a plan, they were going to save these subsidies anyway. That may be, but that doesn't mitigate at all what has happened to the Supreme Court, folks. The fact that the Republicans might have bent over backwards to make sure the subsidies continued, which is probably what would have happened. Nobody had a plan otherwise. The closest you can find any Republican have a, having a plan to deal with Obamacare being redone, obliterated, and redone is Scott Walker. And I've got an op-ed that he wrote about it. But aside from him, there isn't really anybody that had a plan. And... I wouldn't be surprised if there were a lot of Republicans breathing huge sighs of relief over this because they have been totally beaten down and they think that anything that makes the American people unhappy is going to be blamed on them. And they would rather do whatever it takes to avoid that. And so in this sense, the outcome probably isn't.